Uh, what's my name? Oh, I'm just gonna read your name. Roberto. Hell yeah. So we're playing this one instead of uh, Below. I didn't enjoy Below as much as I thought I would. But, hey, that's okay. Another day and still no sign of the so-called Western hero. Training used to be fun, but all we do now is memorize boring prophecies. Demon army, this, and magistral that. Nothing happened in centuries, so why are we still hiding? I wish I could just leave this place and go explore the world. Gather around, everyone. History lesson is about to begin. Oh, great, another lecture. This shirt's a little fuzzy, that's okay. Until I get better lighting, that's about what we got. Uh, I guess I should at least show up this time. So it looks very old school, like, uh, what's, what's that game? Um, the Shinobi. But, uh, very good game. And there's a twist in the middle of it. Find enough time to try the new course. Uh, show us your cloud step technique. Jump, hit, jump. So every time you hit something in the air, you can jump again. Whee! Whee! I can get an achievement for doing this. Hold on. I'm gonna get as many of the achievements as possible, by the way. It's like, do this 15 times, I think. Goose, how you doing, man? Look at the side of Grace up with their presence. Uh, have you done your reading? Ever the rebel. What's the point? All we do is ride in this hideout anyway. I'm gonna try and pick something. You're gonna lose track of the game in just a second. Whoop. Sorry, guys. Shit's bothering me. I'm fuzzy. There we go. A little better. Uh, I see that the importance of our ancestors' wisdom is, lo is lost on you. But let me assure you that the uh, third of the demon army is very real. And should they... Huh? They have returned. This is all wrong. The Western hero was supposed to save us. Watch out! Oh, what's wrong, dude? Don't go. You are not ready. Ready, bro. Burn it all. Bring the humans to their knees. Not so fast, big boy. Oh, and who might you be? Are you really all they've got? Pathetic. Prepare to die. That's out. Impossible. Nice. Seems luck is with you this day. Bumblezel! Yes, my king. Keep an eye on this worm. Certainly, my king. Count on your blessings, ninja. My minions will make short work of you in the autumn hills. Are you the western hero? Something like that. To be honest, I got here way too late. As you look like the most capable around here, I have a task of the utmost importance for you. Take this scroll and carry it across the island. You need to reach Glacial Peak Summit, where three sages will be waiting for you. But who are you? Why is the scroll important? You'll find the answers along the way. Head for the village gate now, and the Shroud of the Night will be your only protection to make it through the Autumn Hills. Godspeed, messenger. Get it? That's what the game's called. Hey, you got the scroll. 
You have been chosen to be the messenger tasked with carrying this roll across the cursed world. Yeah, dog. Super stoked. Dude, this game is so much fun. And by the way, fucking every song of this game is a goddamn banger. And it's all on Spotify if you ever want to listen to it all. It's all on Spotify. Yeah. Yeah, boy. So we get these gems, basically our uh, currency. So this game came out, and uh, if you guys watch uh, YouTube at all, uh, there's a guy named The Completionist, who Gerard The Completionist did a video on it, and I was just like, holy shit, this game looks bomb as hell. So I picked it up on my Switch, and I played through it. Please don't touch the cabinet. I already told you, the cabinet is off limits. Believe me, you're not ready for what's in there. You think you just barge to my lab and go through my stuff like you will in the place? There's no skeleton there, I promise. They don't touch. It's empty anyway. Don't make me look. <laughs> so funny. Ah, the messenger. I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is the shop. It doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? Anyway, so I'm this missing character who will be mentoring and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take the scroll to the top of the faraway mountain where the three sages from my order will be waiting for you. Your order, slow down. That was way too much text for one dialogue box. Look, just keep going eastwards, and make sure you grab all these tiny shards you see lying around. I can use them to upgrade your abilities and artifacts. First one is on the house. Enjoy. So, by the way, this game is very aware of, uh, breaking the fourth wall. Got the climbing claws. Anything? Can I upgrade? So, there's an upgrade tree you can get, which is pretty nice. So, I'm gonna upgrade my hill. And you can talk to him. So, we're chatting. So, climbing claws. Oh, yeah, you can press against the walls and cling to them and climb at your leisure. Makes sense. The way everything looks, it just felt like I should be able to do that. Yes, that's why John Gaiden. Ah, oh, that's what it was. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden. Uh, Jin Gaiden invited them decades ago. Who's John Gaiden? Never mind. Just an acknowledgement I needed to get out of the way. Oh, I so get it. Some will. What is this place? Seriously, though, where are we? Curious, are we? In time, you will come to realize that the question is not where, but when. That's it. Listen, I know you're still new to this, but you can have to be pretty naive to expect anything other than cryptic information so eerily in your adventure. Would you rather go back into the action anyway? Just buy a health upgrade or something and be on your way. Kids these days. Uh, any stories to share? you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a servant who didn't know how to read. The day came where his master asked him to read something for her, uh, to which he replied, I'm sorry, my lady, I can't read. That reply immediately got him fired. So he went out into the streets looking for a tea house to relax and accept his bad news. When he couldn't find any, he reckoned he probably wasn't the only one to wish that there was a tea house in the small town, so he opened up his own. It really picked up, so he built many more and became rich in the process. One day, his accountant asked him to review a piece of, uh, a piece of document to which he replied he didn't know how to read. The accountant, who couldn't believe his ears, said, If you became a millionaire without even knowing how to read, just imagine where you would be if you could read. Well, I know exactly where I would be, the rich man replied. I would be a servant. The end. What? I don't see how this applies to my adventure. It doesn't. You passed for a story. More like the long version of when life gives you lemons. Alright, since you don't seem to appreciate me sharing some clever material for your next party, I suggest you move along. So there's a lot of that in the game, by the way. A lot of that. So I got the climbing claws now, so I can just fucking climb up walls. Just like normal. Oh, this song. Oh. Oh no. Damn it. Alright, assholes. 
Oh, please stop. Please stop. Please. So we're only going to be streaming, guys, for about two hours today. Uh, about. Maybe, yeah, uh, we, I, I'm going to a Dimebacks game today, so I'm going to make sure to get over to my buddy's house so we can head over there. Um, so, yeah, we'll stream as much as we can. Oh my god, turn around, dude. Can I use the D- okay, I can use the D-pad way easier. Sudoku. So there's a pretty cool twist in this game that you probably won't even see coming, but it's pretty awesome. I'm about to die. I hope there's health here somewhere. That helps. So that replenished a little bit of my health. By the way, that happens. We're underwater now, so the music changes. And we're out. So when I beat this on the Switch, I 100% of the whole game. So I do know what's going on. I know a lot of where the collectibles are. I don't remember how to do them because this was last year, but uh, still. God, this game's so good, everybody. I wasn't really digging below as much as I'd like to. Um, I'm a guy that I need like a story in my game and below just didn't have it at all. I'm sure it's a great game, don't get me wrong, but maybe a game I play by myself or something. here now. You need anything? Let's upgrade. So I can attack attack. Ah, uh, yes. Let's attack enemy projectiles. And yes, let's get a shuriken. What you got? Nope. Same shit. But I have projectiles now. So I could use... If you look up in the top left, and you can see there's a... Uh, the blue... This is basically like Ninja Gate and Shinobi all on steroids. Yep, pretty much. But it's so good. I want those. The control scheme's perfect. Um, God, man, this game's just so good. And there's a twist in it later that you'll you'll see when we get to the top of the mountain. Shit happens. Hell yeah! Now I can knock those out. Oh, ho, 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 asshole. Life is so much better now that I can hit projectiles. Oh! I couldn't remember if those are insta kills or not. Damn it! You look, you see that little thing in the corner right there? Right there? There's a collectible up there. something real quick guys game's gonna go blacks for a second that's bothering me stop moving everything thank you 
There's space in there I don't like. That's better. Okay. Sorry about that. Itch. So this game has a lot of Metroidvania in it, by the way, too. So it's not just uh, Ninja Gaiden. There, I mean, we go back places a lot. So, you know me and Metroidvanias, man. It's my shit right there. Oh, dude, this music's bomb as hell. And what up, Nick? How you doing, man? Should go down there. Ooh, okay. Let's see if it, I think. Is it, yeah, this is a collectible. Let's see if we can get it. You beat pre sequel? How'd you like it? You're gonna go on to like the best game now. Here we go. This is one of the collectibles. Kaboom, bitch. Funny, yeah. So it seems you're the one you're one to wander off the beaten path. What was that big green object? What do you mean that thing you just smash instead of collecting? It's a power seal. There are many others like this one, but to be honest, I'm not really sure what they do. I can tell you that finding them all is optional, but if you're the kind of bench that likes to go for the extra challenge, you'll want to keep an eye out for the hidden rooms. And who knows? It may or may not unlock the overpowered upgrade. Anyway, I'll be in my shop. Good man, now you get to start Borderlands 2. Now that game is bomb as shit. I love Borderlands. Oh, I forgot there's a big pit right here. Borderlands 2 is so good, dude. Ah, oh, yeah, don't plan on it. I, think, I don't think Borderlands 2 has a long platinum, if I'm not mistaken. It might, I'm not sure. But it probably does, just like all the other Borderlands. It's probably a hell of a big old platinum. Getting the max level itself is gonna take time, right? Area. Did I meant did I forget to mention uh, there's a giant leaf monster guarding the exit? You did. <laughs> that look on your face. Don't worry, my adventure or my dear adventure leaf monsters only come out during a full moon. Oh, is it a full moon right now? Yes. Oh, that's uh, I didn't mean to. Uh... Well, good luck. What do you want to chat about? Eighty now? Jesus Christ. All right, guys, first boss. The leaf monster. Oh, Jesus. He's almost dead already, actually. Oh, God. Hey, come down here. Not fair. Thank you. Shit. Hey. God damn it. Hey. Come down here, please. If 
you get a high damage weapon like a legendary and stuff, it does take a while to replace those weapons in Borderlands for sure. The orange guns, and sometimes purples too. It's hard to replace purple weapons that are good. If you got like the right roll on it. Hell yeah, poor Lord Temple. Good job everybody, we beat the first area. More badass music. Need anything? What do we got upgrade wise? Nothing. I want that. So 200. All right, let's see what we got. Current area. Forlorn Temple, huh? That's a sad one. How so? I haven't paid much attention during history lessons, have you? Adventure types really do. I get it. So the short of it is, that four-headed monster who would have killed you earlier if that cooler than you hero hadn't intervened, that's the Demon King. He brought his armies to the human realm many centuries ago and destroyed their stronghold, forcing them to retreat into hiding. He's been sitting on their throne ever since. I mean, this is all that he left in human all that is left of the human legacy? For what it's worth, I'm sorry. No way, I'll go take down that demon king right now. You wouldn't be the first to try. Well, I can't just stand by while some evil monster gloats over my people's misery. You're still too weak to consider taking on his uh even his second in command. I'm going. But you can't even make it to the entrance without falling into the pit. Watch me. Oh, I will. It's story time, everybody. Do you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There was once a princess looking for a suitable husband. She sent an invitation to all neighboring princes, stating that the main trait she was looking for was sensitivity. Contenders came and went, attempted to pass her test. You'll be my guest tonight, the princess would explain. All I need to do is sleep on this pile of mattresses. The next morning, she would ask them how their night was. I had the best sleep of my life. She, uh, each would reply, confident they had proved they didn't fear the dark, or that they could be easy guests. They weren't all prompt. They were all promptly dismissed. One day, an especially sensitive prince reported he couldn't sleep at all. I don't know what was up with that pile of mattresses. He went on. It looked comfortable enough, but when I laid on it, it was like I had a fork stuck in my kitty. They got married the next day. Oh, everyone knows this story. There's a pee underneath the pile, and someone who's extremely sensitive would be, wouldn't be able to sleep. Yes, have you ever heard the, uh, what happened after? For the first few weeks, everything was amazing. The prince would always complain. Just the guy she asked for. When the soup wasn't too hot, it's the cutlery that was too cold. When the music wasn't too loud, the paintings were uninspired. And when the clothes weren't itchy, the poems were predictable. Until one day, just like that, it dawned on the princess that she was in a toxic relationship. Not only was her husband a drag, she voluntarily picked him for the exact, exactly that reason. It dawned on her just like that, uh, how this love story was nothing more than two people whose dysfunctions matched like puzzle pieces. Incredibly humbled by Regal Sanders, she realized that she was the only constant in all her problems, delved into personal growth, then got a divorce. She lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So once you get all the green things, this is what we get. What's big mysterious chest appears when you smash the first power symbols. So once we get all the power symbols, that happens. So we said we wouldn't make it past the first big, like, thing. This is why. Because ah, we can't wall climb on that shit. Down to the catacombs! Oh, you scared me. I thought you were running dead. What kind of creature are you? You never seen a fubican? A fubican? <laughs> We're the tribe of builders, technically very hardworking, but every one of us is cursed by a unique fear, which we are named after. What's your name? Necro. Necro, so you fear the dead have somehow ended up in the catacombs. Ironic, isn't it? I fell in trying to repair the temple runes above and was instantly paralyzed by all this morbidity. Anyway, thanks for snapping me out of it. I really should get back to work. We got spooky skeletons, everybody. Oops. I... Hey, hey! Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, we got it. Should be like a power seal or something up here. Oh, one of these big boys. Give me all of the monies. All of the monies. So I'm thinking that I have achievements turned off right now. 
Um, the reason being is I think my computer turns it off when I have a full screen program. So I don't think we're going to see our achievement at the bottom. Which I'm going to have to fix that. One second, everybody. Would you stop? Uh, I don't know how to stop it. All right, whatever. I would like my achievements to pop, please. I like achievements. Oh, hey, it's our bro. I like him. Okay, he's not much of a bro, but you know, he's, he's cool looking. Customer. What happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. Huh? Well, how? My name's Corbel. Corbel? At your service, I'm the one you never would have met had you any skills. The gist of it is, I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. So whenever you're about to die, I'll appear and stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Okay, what's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. I'll also keep track of your dead in my little notepad. So I'll stick around to steal your loot and tell you that we're even or on board. I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. Since we have a deal. Glad we see eye to eye. Carry on then. So basically, he's going to take all my things now for a while. Uh, he'll go away after a bit, though. takes, but it's quite a bit, it seems like. That's all the key up. Stop. Stop. There we go. Hey, we got a power seal. So this is a pretty damn easy power seal to get, it seems. Um, they get a lot harder after this. God damn it, what is wrong with you, Rubber? Stop hanging on walls. There's some pretty toughies. Tough, 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 tough ones. Damn it! God damn it, Billy. I've actually been playing the Psycho, dude. It's weird. You're very squishy. At least I'm very squishy. I don't know why, but are you squishy in your game? And that, I mean, it doesn't help that I catch myself on fire the whole time. I think so. I think you're supposed to be when you're, uh, when you're a Psycho. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ha! Oh, I, I fell on the spikes when I looked away. God damn shit. I don't know how that missed his face, but it missed his face. might be the wrong class for me because I like rushing into things like in the middle of shit. Usually I'm like the soldier class, so I usually 
have like my turret or something to help me out. But, you know. Whee! I love the water effects in this, it's so fun. By the way, there's a map. How do I get to that map? This button? This button? This button? That one? Nope. Oh well. Maybe, oh, I think you unlock the map later, actually. with the health drops in this game, too. Uh, did you get any farther in uh, Final Fantasy, my bro? That Titan fight was fun enough, wasn't it? Stars. Nope. Oh, never mind. Ah, here it is. Ninja stars. Help. Nice. Banana. Mm -hmm. Need anything? Let's upgrade, dog. That's the underwater dash. This is the health drops. And the underwater dash. Perfect. Stop. 
Level boss. I believe you reached the Necromancer's doorstep. Any advice? Very little is known about this villain. Okay, so no advice. Dodging anything that looks like evil magic would be a good start. Oh, great help. Well, I also recommend looking at my inventory for any useful upgrades. I really appreciate all the support. Look, the Necromancer is a newcomer. All we know for now is that he plans on taking over the world as Undead Army. All we know? Sorry, I meant all I know. I'm totally on my own here. What do you want to chat about? Let's see what the current area was about. So I made it to the catacombs. Okay, anything I should know? Not really. It's pretty standard stuff. Skeletons and bats. Oh, and evil wizards too? You bet. The Necromancer even took over. Spooky. Cliché. Uh, I suggest you get this area out of the way. There are more original ones lined up. What do you want to talk about? Uh, let's talk about what I, what's he do here? What do you do here? I study magic. Can you teach me? Not really. Why not? Why not? Because you're not ready. Ready for what? For magic. Come on, you just asked. No, know what I meant. Believe me. Learning magic is a lot harder than following a conversation. What do you want to chat about? Hey, how'd that epic raid on the Demon King go? Did you manage to save the world and restore your people's honor? It's not fair. The bridge was in shambles. Well, we wouldn't have much of an adventure if you faced off against the big villain right away, but now would we? Alright, story time, everybody. Story time with Mr. Shopkeeper. How many stories here? Of course, here's one for you. There once was an old lady who had nothing in life, save for a small shack and a pear tree. Her name was Madame Misery. Her whole family ate misery. Uh, and sometimes there wasn't even enough misery to go around. One day, she was visited by a starving beggar who asked whether she had any food to spare. She didn't, but her heart was as big as her situation was unfortunate. So she served the beggar a few clumps out of the tasteless broth she had a simmering, then invited him to help himself to a few pears. The beggar removed his cloak, revealing himself as a deity. He was disguised as a beggar to see whether there was any kindness left in the world. Touched by Madame Misery's generosity, he offered her a tap to grab her a wish. Let me guess, she didn't want anything in the moral story about living frugally. No, no, this is good. Let me continue. She mentioned a lot of people were stealing her fruits, which jeopardized her chance to eat every day. Her wish was simple, an enchantment on her pear tree so that it would trap anyone who stole from it until she decided to free them. The divine visitor granted her wish and took his leave. Time went by as she scolded many thieves, but soon realized that most of them were starving children. She decided to take it upon herself to feed the and educate them, and soon became the pillar of the thriving new generation. Ever happy and generous, Madame Misery got so old that her face looked like an elephant's knee. And then one day, death came for her. Death, following the protocol, inquired about her last request. I would like to eat one last pear from my tree, she said. Would you be kind enough to grab one for me? Death climbed into the tree and grabbed a pear, getting trapped in the process. The old lady decided to never let death out of the trap, and since, there has been, since then, there has been misery in the world. The end. Right? What's the moral? Being selfless justifies being selfish later? Generosity begets misery? I don't know, it's a fairy tale for kids. I just thought the idea of death trapped in a pear tree was interesting. So good. Hell yeah. Alright, here's boss fight number dos. And with this armies of the undead, everyone will soon fear the mighty Raxton. Ahem. What now? Oh, the shopkeeper guy's perfect in it. What now? Well, we have a visitor. I don't have time for visitors. Well, he seems to have time for you. Oh, great. Just when you think you get to play with your evil lab. Do I have to remind you who's in charge here? Now say something threatening and try not to embarrass us like you did last time. Oh, I've come practicing. Watch this. Ah, ahem, who dares enter my lair? Uh-oh, is that the messenger? Looks like it. What do we do? Steal the scroll, of course. Good plan. On guard, face the mighty might of Ruxton the Great. All right, time to beat this guy's ass. Oh no! Ow. Oh, I can hit him, I think. Oh, there's that thing. Whoops. Get off, dude. Whoop. Poor Ruxton. He's just getting his ass kicked.
a <laughs> valley girl voice. in the face a lot. Oh god, I missed. Not that time, bitch. Alright, he's dead. Hell yeah, dog. Ruxted, no. I yield. Wait, it's over. It's over, the single thing is clearly not working out for us, no matter how many skulls we will slap on ourselves. Any suggestions that I'm listening? I don't know, just something else. Like what? Introspection would be a good start. What all has brought us really? Ridiculous, I'm sticking to evil. Oh yeah? And how are you going to accomplish anything if I'm not carrying you? Well, I could... That's... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Set of dead. Carry on, messenger. We promise not to cause the world any harm. Bye, Ruxton. I'll miss you. Here we are, Mr. Brown. Does the world any harm? Uh, that's all you gotta say, dude. I'm on something cool. We did it. <laughs> Going to Bamboo Creek, y'all. That means new song. on my stream playlist on my uh, Spotify too. Just such a good album. Alright, let's go talk to our buddy the shopkeeper. I like how there's something in there by the way. Do you see that? Need anything? What do we got for upgrades? So that takes 200. That's 400. Uh, 320, 1,000, 550, 250, okay. Uh, chat. What do we want to chat about? The current area, Bamboo Creek. There must be a sign for sore eyes after you trek into the catacombs. Sure is. Do you make the best of it? This place is as close to a day off as you'll get in this adventure. I'll try. I just didn't know something so cheerful existed. <laughs> I guess that says more about your mindset than about the world. What do you want to chat about? Time shards. What are these crystals I'm collecting? So you're gonna touch the unidentified magic object first and ask questions later, kind of guy. They're time shards. I can use them to augment your abilities. How does it work? Exactly what we've been doing it so far. You select what you want and give give me the required amount of shards so I can do my thing. I meant the spell itself. That's complicated. But I'm curious. And now I'm busy. Alright guys, story time with Mr. Messenger number three. Of course I do what? You're in Bamboo Creek, this is <laughs> He's not going to tell us the story. So he says you take the opportunity to play outside. Bye now. That's good. No story time today. I kind of forget I have those every once in a while. Hey, 
Hey, this guy. And he's gone. We'll see him later. For sure. What's over here? Hell yeah. So there's gonna be a lot of areas I can't go to. That's where the... My face is... Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. What happened? Oh, God. Hold on, guys. It's gonna minimize. What the hell just happened? Yeah. Oh, there. Oh, God. It's the light. God damn it. <laughs> Give me light. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna adjust some shit. Guys, I need to buy one more light. It's just how it rolls. Oh god, see through. Motherfucker. I'm gonna go on pause real quick, guys. We'll be right back. Getting better. Better. All right. I don't know why I'm see through here. It's all about the light, guys. It's, uh, it's not fluid. I think I'm gonna have to take away the green screen for a little bit. It's just not working right now. God damn it. Making me angry, everybody. Literally nothing's changed. <laughs> and now I'm not see through. I guess we can go talk to him. Oh, I'm so close. Okay, there's nothing else to say. I'm too close for me. Jesus. Alright. Seems to be okay now. I don't know what changed all of a sudden, but something changed all of a sudden. It's the green. Uh-oh. I think I'm dead. Yep. 
Yeah, it's the light of the screen, so the light of my monitor. We can see if I could adjust the monitor real quick. Let's see. Uh, brightness. Just turn you down a bit. See if that helps out. I turned the brightness down on the monitor halfway. Nope, didn't help much. That's okay. Thank you for letting me know, though, Nick. Appreciate it, Mike. Green screens are tricky, bro. So I, the goal is for my green screen that is I need it to be bright enough. Or I need it to be uh, lit up enough like my whole face and everything, so that when a computer screen comes on me like that, there's no change. And then I could set the green screen up exactly how I'd want it to be. Right now, god damn it. Uh, right now though, what happens is I guess it's not bright enough. So uh, when, the, when the monitor comes on and say it's like a white screen, it's too bright. And it changes how the, the the green screen and the webcam are capturing me. Um, yeah, green screens, everybody. We'll get it figured out one day. I have a ring light. Um, it's just not. I don't know if it's big enough. That's the problem. Um, I actually think I need two ring lights. That's my biggest thing. There was a package on um, on Amazon I was looking at that might have something that I could use. It's like 60 bucks and it had like two big lights with it and shit. Maybe I just need to have it situated correctly, I don't know. Because it needs to light up the green screen and myself, but it's not a big green uh, ring light. Maybe I just need to get a bigger one. It's actually pretty small. But I mean, I'm a budget streamer right now, so you know how it rolls. Bitch. Definitely a budget streamer. Bitch. over here. Oh look, a green power seal. Boom, bitch. I'll figure it out one day. But it was working for most of the stream, so I'm not too worried about it. You know what I'm not, sadly? It's a crafter. I wish I was. My mom's way better than I am at that kind of stuff than my brother Brian. But um, I got the other hit, the other side. I got the, uh, the, uh, musical side, I guess. Sorry, I'm just getting all the gems I missed. God damn it! Okay, we're good. Guys, I'm dying like crazy over here. Damn it, do I have to go through the whole thing again? Yep. This thing could do is give me like a health drop or something. Oh god. Oh, I should probably take my hat off, is that what you're saying? Ah, it's bald. There we go. I'm lit up, everybody. Lit. Take all my money. 
God damn it. Shit. Yeah, that again. There's just so much head. If I wear backwards, hold on. Let's go backwards instead. <sighs> Better. It's not straight. God damn it. All right, better. Now I just have this giant pillow hitting my head. Fuck it, no hat. All right. You can see through my neck right here, that's weird. Exactly, it's my 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 one goal in life. Oh the carbal's gone. Alright, we don't have to go that way this time, so let's just fucking go up. Tell you what though, it works really well for dark games, but when it comes to games like this or you know, anything that has any sort of bright textures on it, man, it does not like it. Phone charger, dude. Damn it. All right, let's see what he's got to say. Need anything? Let's upgrade. So we got enemies restored right now. We want HP plus one. Yeah. Need anything? Uh, let's chat. So I guess the boss is up next. A boss in Bamboo Creek? That's a good one. Well, with with the layout, you know, perfectly centered. A gate, symmetrical, symmetrical lanterns, uh, no scrolling. I just thought, look, you're perfectly free to hallucinate patterns and try to make sense of them. But I believe I told you this place was like your day off. So, well, would you find a boss on your day off? Exactly. Just stop the little shit. That was a nice little drop, wasn't it? Hey, Connor, what up, man? Right in time for the Howling Grotto. There we go, dark level. This is the, the messenger, my bro. Well, that didn't work out, did it? It's a pretty fun uh, Metroidvania platformer game. <laughs> I fell in a pit. I you did. The gap is way too wide. There's no way I can make the jump. This reminds me of a story. A long time ago, Warriors of the Squirrel Clan invented a way to soar through the skies. Touching on a freedom humans could seldom dream of, some would mistake them for gods. 
incredible. Yeah, whatever. Here's a wingsuit. Hey, I got a wingsuit, y'all. You need anything? What you got to say for me, bro? Thanks for the wingsuit. You bet. Don't forget to try it out by pressing and holding A while airborne. Why was it free and not the other upgrades? Because it was mandatory for your progression. You can't save the world if you're stuck in a pit. Will there be more freebies in the future? There's only one way to find out now, isn't there? What do you mean? I mean you should carry on with your quest while letting your heart know for sure with this pure cursed world and its inhabitants have a lot of surprises left in store for you. Welcome to the Howling Grotto. Do people live here? Some cave dwelling creatures do uh, a long time ago. They built structures from streams uh, of emeralds running through the rocks and believed the wind was the breath of God. Anything I should know? Not really, other than it's gladden time. Well, that wingsuit I gave you. Yeah? Sorry, I don't have enough contextual data. I meant to say something that would make sense regardless of whether you already had used the wingsuit to ride the wind tunnels. You're being awkward now. What's wrong with you? I gave you something that virtually lets you fly and you'd rather stay here and chat. Oh, he has a story. Hold on, guys. It's story time. Do you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a king who had a pretty rough time managing his emotions. Experiencing nothing but extremes, he would always feel either too excited or too depressed, which caused him to never get anything done. Just as he was about to lose all hope of getting his life together and be a viable ruler for his people, he was visited by a traveling relic hunter. Uh, to get to rid the king of his woes, the relic hunter gave him a magic ring, promising it would make him a, make him sad when he is happy and happy when he is sad. It worked like a literal charm, and the kingdom became very prosperous as a result. When the king passed away, the castle's wizard probably grabbed the ring to finally try and understand the source of its power. As it turned out, the ring wasn't magic at all. But how could a non-magic ring make you sad when you are happy and happy when you are sad? I guess. Not really. It had a small inscription on it that read, This too shall pass. Whoa, that's deep. It's more than deep. I just gave you the cure up for anxiety through a fairy tale. Thanks, shopkeeper. Hey, now, don't push it. There you go, everybody. Cure to anxiety. Get a ring that says, this too shall pass. So we got a wingsuit! Woo! Yay! Yay! I love it. Fucking love it. Yay! Oh no, we got skeletons again. Spooky, spooky skeletons. Actually, reminds me, what game am I playing right now? Uh. Oh, uh, what game am I playing that had this? Oh, Ori had this. That's what it was. Where you kind of glide through the air. Whee! You bitch. Spikes. Ow. Leave me alone. Hey, look, a hard room. Ow. Made it. Collectible! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whee! I'm having too much fun playing this again, guys. I just want you to know that. I want to know where my goddamn achievements are, though. Like, why aren't they showing? I need my achievers. Dead. Checkpoint. Oh god. Okay. The rocks though. The rocks. Boulder boys. They're jamming by the way. Do you they got like headphones in or something? Look at them. Oh, boulder guys, thank you. Oh god, you tried to kill me. Yeah. 
bitch. That's not good. I'm a fucking ninja! I'm out of these things. Bitch. Yeah, bitch. I hope you guys are enjoying the soundtrack, man, because that's like the one thing that kept me in this game forever was just hearing that fucking the sweet ass jam song. <sighs> yes. And the shopkeeper, of course. He is the best. Oh no, I want those. <laughs> I want them. I want them. I can get one of them. What you got, bro? Anything upgradable? Uh, enemies sometimes drop a quill of the key. Yeah, let's do wingsuit attack. That sounds cool to me. So now, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get wingsuit attack. Sweet. Yeah. I'm going this way first. It looks like. So is the end. We're gonna go back up and get the rest of those though. We gotta. Oh god, wrong way. Gotta go all the way up. Whee! Got him. Looking. Okay. God damn it. These flame guys are the worst. the coins or the crystals all of them okay what are you doing cat Leo I don't know what's going on kittens everybody Deciding to attack Snarf while she was in the cat box. Good job, Leo. Just let the cat pee. Yay! Piece of candy. Yum, 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 yum. Nice 
Alright. We're doing well, everybody. We died a couple times, but there were stupid deaths. Nothing crazy. Definitely avoidable. There's an achievement that I gotta get. Where I play through the beginning of this game again. And I uh, have to get to a certain boss without dying. Alright, what you got for me, my bro? Any upgrades? Yeah. Let's see. Level boss. Well, I hope you're up for a challenge. Why? Because something big is up next. What? Well, let's just say you're about to fight someone who understands that the, that the best defense is a good offense. Wait, the best defense is a good defense. I wish I could tell you. Anyway, your three questions are up. Carry on. Since when is there three question rule? Hey, that's four now. Here comes the boss, baby. This guy was in all the previews for this game. He's a big boy. Can you guess where I have to hit him? There. He's so mad. Uh. Uh. Fucking nailed it. Oh. Damn it. Stop getting hit, Robert. Oh my god, get off! Ah! Oh god. I might die here. Oh god. Ah! Oh god. <laughs> Guys, I had to be super careful. Uh, oh god! Oh god! Will you stop doing that? Ah! That scared me. Oh. I'm so bad. So, Corbel. Doesn't like bosses. Watch his face when walking. Horrible. Oh, you can't see him because of the fucking thing, but. He gets spooked. You can see him in the cup. He's in the cup. And he fucking pieces out. miss him. Aww, he said, Bye. thanks for destroying my golem. Oh, you attack first. What are you talking about? I've been digging through these caps for centuries and you just randomly engage. No way. Way. No way. No, well, fair enough. I see you could have thought I was a threat. I guess my survival of this thing's kicked in a little too fast. I understand. It's all good. 
Look, I'm sorry to search your gold, okay? Don't worry about it. Sorry. It's all right. Honest mistake. So how do I get out of here? Well, I'll just deliver you. Good luck on your quest. He's so cool. Look at him. What up, dude? You know, the wind tunnel again. I don't mind your misunderstanding. All right. He's so happy. Oh, he's so good. Oh, yeah. It looks like Meatwad, just green. Hello. To the Quill Shroom Marsh. Definitely Meatwad esque. Dude, look at those fucking mushrooms. That's pretty much all I see. I never liked this area. It's because of those motherfuckers. You're dead. God damn it. They get all crazy when you kill their heads of cats. They're mushroom tips. You're a spiky boy. That creepy motherfucker in the background. Oh god, I missed. Oh god, I missed. Okay, we're good. Come on, bitch. So it looks like there's a down where, downwards area to go to, too. Look at that sweet fucking bird in the back, too. Need anything? Any upgrades for me, bro? What's my next closest? There's 400, 250. Okay. Let's chat. The Emerald Golem. I still can't believe you defeated the Emerald Golem. Did you get a chance to understand its motive? I think it was an evil, it was just digging away. What, you made all the messages that were killed? All a misunderstanding. Wow. Welcome to the Quill Shroom Marsh, said no one ever. Yeah, this place is eerie. Tell me about it. I once had to look through the mud for an artifact. Gave up pretty quickly. What happened to this area? Legend says it used to be ruled by a monstrosity known called the Primal Fear until a brave monk defeated it. Both were mighty indeed, but with its final breath, the Primal Fear cursed the monk forever. Cursed? Legend also says the monk still roams the marsh to this day, turning any trespassers into fungi. Oh great. No one knows whether any of this is true, but yeah, i pick up the pace if I were you. Story time! There once was a messenger who kept asking for stories. Even though he was supposed to move on with his very important quest, he just couldn't get enough. The shopkeeper, living in a void outside of time, was connected to all eras, and so at first, was happy to share the myths and legends encountered over decades of traveling. Alas, the messenger never seemed to appreciate the moral or takeaways, so the shopkeeper decided to be done with the stories thing. The end. No way, I liked your stories. Come on, maybe later, we'll see. I love it. Fucking love it. So goddamn clever. Is this a death area? No, okay, I can't get there yet. Like, that didn't look like a death area to me. Bitch. Birdie! Who do I need help for? Oh, never mind. I, just, I was gonna say I never took damage than that motherfucker. Look at the creepy mushrooms in the back. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, uh, sad mushrooms. How 
to get his mushroom top back. I'm just gonna drop in and sweep. Kinda dying over here. Mostly because of these motherfuckers. The spiky ass motherfuckers. The, the next upgrade was 250, so I should be able to upgrade. Yep. So next one, 1,000, 550, and 400, I think. Yeah, so 400 is where it's at. sure the achievement I have to get is to make it to this boss without dying, which actually didn't seem too too terrible. I just have to be careful. If I'm careful, I'm pretty sure I can make it pretty easy. Whatever, dude. Stop taking my jams. Get it done, man. I'll be on later tonight. Um, I'm gonna go to that Dimebacks game, and then uh, once we get, once I get back, which is gonna be late though, so don't know if you'll be on or not. Please. There we go. Stop taking all my shards. Thank you. Why? 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 Because I'm gonna die again. I can already tell. Because of this motherfucker. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV came out a while ago, man. Um, great game. It's an MMO on PC and PS4. It's one of those paid subscription games, though. Yeah, 15 is the one that came out last year. Hey guys, can I get a? Can I get some health, please? I'm gonna fall for that shit again. Oh, you fucker! <gasps> what a bitch! Do you see that? And there was a health glob coming at me too. Guys are the worst, man. Look, I missed this whole. Oh uh, no, that is the spot. I was like, I missed this spot over here. Bitch. I 
Yeah, Final Fantasy XIV is uh, very different than any normal Final Fantasy. The only thing that it has in common is basically all the classes, the story. All right, Robert, keep pushing X. That way he doesn't come and kill you. Okay. No spikes. No spikes! That's what's been killing me, is these fucking spikes. And that's the good thing about doing that run. I can avoid those spots pretty easily. So I don't have to do it. Because now these guys will be no problem. I have fucking full health. Yeah, crystals, Lauren, all that junk. And you get to be a Dark Knight, which is the best class, by the way. Until Gunbreaker, ah, oh, dude, I'm Marcos. I'm really excited for this expansion, dude. Gunbreaker seems legit. I'll send you the channel I've been watching stuff on, and uh, you can see some of the classes for yourself. is probably just finish up this one area and then we'll call it a stream um, that way we don't get too far into another area and then have to call it in the middle of it so once we kill this boss we'll we'll, we'll call the stream I can get up there can I? I can is there anything up there for me to get nope but I appreciate everybody hanging out today I've realized that my median streams are about two hours to three hours. I need to up that to like a four hour stream or something. We have those occasional long streams, but sometimes my brain just can't take it. Can I climb that? Nope. Okay. And we got some long streams coming with that. Like I said, the new Final Fantasy XIV expansion. We got some long streams coming for that. Maybe playing the shit out of that game. So. Oh look, we're already at the boss, I guess. Cool. Need anything? Can I upgrade? No, I don't have 400. Chat! Level boss. Be careful, I sense a fallen up ahead. A fallen? It's how we call mess- it's, it's what we- it's how we call messengers who quests came to a tragic end. Their power corrupted by demon magic. Why are you so serious all of a sudden? Because it doesn't get much more serious than a rogue messenger about to unleash on you. And with these stories about a monk, if it really is that one monk. What are you talking about? About you meeting your match. Good luck. Alright, here we go. Squirt bottles, y'all. The best cat deterrent. Well, well, well. It seems we have an intruder. Well, I guess it's a girl. Can you get out of here? This place is filled with monsters. Oh, did my quiz room scare you? So it's true. <laughs> Don't like my army. It's a shame, really, since you were able to do it. Look about to do it. But what that scroll, it couldn't be. Impossible. Be before your queen. And receive this curse of queens. Alright. What a bitch. I'm a mushroom boy! I can't climb those, that's why. I'm like sitting there trying to climb that shit and I can't. Hey! Bitch. It's fine. I'm here all day. Yeah, you're already fucking blinking red at me. You know what I'm saying, dog? Bitch. Oh, I didn't go. 
Oh, you're doing stuff now. Okay. Can you stop? Thanks. You might kill me this time. Yep. Whip me right in the face. We all poopy pants. That horrible. inside her all the time. Can I stop that, please? Alright, we're doing well. Oh god, I missed. Eh, <laughs> yep. She's super blinky. Damn it. Bitch. Stop it. She's gonna hop towards the middle and do her thing. Alright, she's dead. We did it! No, wait a second. Who do you think you are? I'm Cloudle. Cloudle? This makes no sense. Why have I never seen you before? I was exiled a long time ago when I got cursed along with my messenger. Huh? The voice, are you? Out of here? You bet. See ya, sucker. The fuck? So when we get back to Mama, we're not streaming tomorrow, Monday, Syrian Crags, everybody. We should be able to maybe beat this game. But uh, let me get to a checkpoint so it saves, and we'll be good to go. Gotta get to a checkpoint. Otherwise, I don't think it saves it for me. There should be one right there. All right. So this is where we're going to cut it off, everybody. I appreciate y'all coming to the stream today. Uh, if you missed part of this, you maybe want to see the beginning of it. I'm going to put it on YouTube here pretty quick. And uh, you'll be good to go to watch it there. But until next time, YouTube, peace out. Thank you for coming on. And chat, I appreciate you guys coming. Uh, wish me uh, good luck on my drive to Phoenix. I'm going to go watch me some baseball. Hopefully get me a bobblehead. That's why we're going with a bobblehead. Hopefully I'll have the green screen stuff fixed for you by the next time. Um, it looks fine now. It's because it's not as bright, though. So we'll have to figure it out. I don't know. I don't know what the. Uh, I don't know how to do that. So we'll, we'll figure it out though. All right, guys. Until next time, chat. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for coming. To the fish tank. Peace out, homies. <laughs>